on the holiday, yeah. Come on, mate, turn the park. How are you doing this, uh, this case? Uh, me and Barney have come out for an impromptu day today. The forecast, the forecast rain as usual and um, heavy winds later, so um, but we're out for just a day because if you don't know, it was my I've just turned to the uh, grace stage of 50 years old now, so um, I've got a party to go to tonight, apparently with friends. And um, so yeah, we've come out for the day. We've set up a few bits. Barney's uh, just chopping up some wood, battening some wood to make a fire. And then we've set up a, just got a little uh, tarp to set up off the log stove, uh, log store. And then Barney set up his tarp there. So uh, we'll pull back to in a little while with some bits and pieces. And uh, I'll be doing some reviews today. Well, not reviews, just sort of um, some shows really. I've got some, I've got a new Heli Context um, chest pack, which I want to do a, a little, not a review, just showing you the pack. And also I've got a rational pack to show as well. So, um, but they'll be in separate videos. Alright, so uh, I'll catch you in a little while folks. I tell you what, I still haven't been out of master, mm. or, or not master is the wrong word. Um, I haven't been out of have much joy at is the
Mm. I like the way you brace belt throughout it. Mm. been lucky actually, it's uh, getting windy but um, no worries, that's what we're doing now, we're just doing a bit of a, uh, Barney's doing some crafting, some um, owls, doing some bookmarks, a little Christmas presents, um, I've just got a brew on the dope, cut myself a piece of sycamore, and because uh, I had not a lot planned today other than doing a little few videos, I'm probably just going to do a bit of spoonage, and, um, Darjeeling coffee. Just piss Barney off a bit more. I heard that. Darjeeling <laughs> my arm. <laughs>
Well, all that effort I've put in to carve that spoon and I've put a split in it right in the end. So what I'm going to try and do is rescue it by flattening off the end. See if I can rescue it that way. Oh well. So I kind of spoochula now, spoochula, spoochula. So I managed to rescue it a bit. That do then, rescued that one. So, uh,
another one of Barney's um, little L bookmarkers that he's made. He's just got to do a little bit of finishing touch to it. Made out of hazel, carved out of hazel. Barney's packing up his tart now. We're going to go for a little bimble. And that's the stove that he's been using. What's that one, but who's this by? That's the honey stove and he's got the extension for it. It's quite a nice bit of kit I suppose, if that's the sort of thing. Made in Britain. Made in the UK which is good. Well, Barney's using one of um, Dave Fryer's his haversacks. And they are brilliant bits of kit, especially if you're coming out for the day. Uh, and even Barney's on about doing a on about doing a little bit of a challenge in there and using one as a sort of have a second bedroll yeah, camp. Have a second bedroll camp, so um yeah, brilliant piece of kit out. Yeah. So well made, very well thought out, which you'd expect from Dave. Really nice fabric. Oh it's brilliant, really, isn't it? Really hard wearing. Taking a walk, go and have a look at Andy from Kent Survival. Go and have a, go and have a look at his new uh, little shelter that he's built. And here's his little spot. Yeah. Not bad, he wants to cover it all with a lot of uh, moss. Looks like he's trying to do some, uh, um, some bark, some pine bark at the moment because that's the ash bark. yeah, an ash bark as well. The immediate materials that are in this area, so uh, still got a bit of work to do, but yeah, not bad, especially this time of year anyway. You know, with the wind and everything else, and the winter months coming, and the trees and the and the light shed their leaves and stuff. So we'll have plenty of debris anyway to get it going. But you can see where he's used a lot of moss and stuff like that on it already. It'd be a nice little uh, nice little base camp for him to use, I suppose. I would have to do something with the front of that though. As I say, I'd want to, I'd want to have like a porch area a for me to work. Well, yeah, but yeah. you know, just a sort of an area to work from. That's all right as an emergency shelter, I think. Uh, yeah, not as a tarp out here, couldn't you? A tarp, I suppose, yeah. yeah. But I don't know how he sort of wants to keep it as. It looks good though. Yeah, but I mean, if you don't want to, if you don't want to bring a tarp out, yeah. Yeah. Not bad. That Nice, uh, nice load of sycamore being chopped down there. That'd be handy for carving and carving projects and stuff, wouldn't it? Over there. Yeah, fucking lots. So, so, so much stuff. Happy days. There, where they've cut down the uh, where they've had the sycamore down, there's loads of branches. Well, that'd be handy for debris shelters and that. This stuff, tons of material there. If I uh, wanted to make a leaf hut or a debris shelter, tons of it. Nice sort of morning and early afternoon finish. 
uh, we've also got other other things to be getting on with at home and that as well so um, having to cut the video a bit short I suppose so uh, yeah we had a nice early morning start done a bit of carving got much else going on in the video um, so same old thing please subscribe leave your comments I'll put a link in the uh, description for Barney's channel as well and he's got a superb blog and writes, writes beautifully um, so I'll, uh, I'll stick a link in the bottom please check out it all out in the description go over and say hello to Barney's stuff as well all right so uh, I was going to do earlier on in the video I mentioned that I was going to do a ration video about the ration pack I've got and also about this um, chest bag but um, I won't do it now because uh, I'll wait till I get home and I'll do them indoors on separate videos all right so you've got something else to look forward to all right so um, that's it folks all right so uh, it's uh, goodbye from me see you later goodbye from bye and uh, we'll catch up with you again at some point all right so take care folks and uh, signing out see you on the flip side